Hi everyone, I'm Glenn Flaherty and this is Board Games and Bourbon and I am with the gents of Winsmith <laughs> Games. Uh, this is Travis and this is David, or Dave, and uh, as he likes to be known. Uh, and uh, we're going to talk about 10 Gallon Tank, which is a new game they're putting out on Kickstarter when? January 21st. And the price is going to be? That's going to be fifteen dollars. Uh, it's a family weight game, so it's fifteen dollars uh, plus some shipping based on where you live. Okay, and we have two cameras. We have one up here that's going to show gameplay, so you'll see me looking at that, but also you'll see us and we'll be talking as well. The game I've already played it uh, a bunch, and uh, my impressions are that it is somewhere between Sunday Split and. New York Pizza, whereas Sunday Split doesn't really play well at high player counts, this does, and whereas New York Pizza is um, uh, has a lot more to think about, this one doesn't, so it actually is kind of at a nice nexus between the two. I love the theme. I think people who like Wingspan is going to like this. Uh, it is a set collection game at heart. And there are elements in there that are cool that are kind of like when you get like discard cards in Star Realms. I said it. You did. <laughs> it's Star Realms, I'm telling you. Okay, so without any further ado, uh, I'm going to let you discuss what the game's about okay. and stuff. And uh, I'm going to leave this here for now and uh, take it away. Yeah, so 10 to Gallon Tank, it's a, it's a family weight game. Um, it's, it's basically about uh, everyone is a hobby aquarist which is a word, if mm -hmm. it's your SAT word for the day, yeah, aquarist. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so what you're trying to do is you're, you're collecting fish and you're mm -hmm. trying to get the most beautiful fish in your tank. Mm -hmm. um, fish, uh, the, the way you collect fish, each one scores differently and the object is to have the most points at the end of the game. So you'll be collecting fish. And I want to in interject there yep. that those, uh, the fish in the game, uh, the way they work is really, really super cool. Each one scores in a different way, and you really have to be on your toes, and not only be on your toes about what's in front of you, but about what you remember other people having. Right. So yeah, so there's an element of trying to remember what other players have, and that was a design decision that we made um, specifically so that there isn't as much analysis paralysis. If you know what everybody has, there's a little mm -hmm. bit of hidden information in there. Yeah. but Very Euro, in a way, believe it or not. So yeah, so and the the one thing that we really like to highlight is just the art. Um, our, our artist Alex yeah. Pushkarov has done just mm -hmm. a fantastic job um, with right. the art, and you'll see that as we play through it. And so I'm gonna hold it up to the camera, just some examples, and I really hope the camera picks up just how awesome the artwork is in this game. It's really captivating. And I can't tell you how important to me artwork is to really make me enjoy a game experience. It's one of those ones that you might play because you enjoy the mechanics, but the art of the game itself just, oh man, look at that card, really just raises it to a whole nother level. Yeah. So so Dave is going to get the game set up. Um, it plays two to five. Uh, the only difference between each of the games is uh, some of the cards you remove at the higher player counts, and they are labeled on the cards. So all you do is look in the corner of the card, and then you just remove anything that's higher than what your player count is. Right. And then from there, uh, the game plays pretty simply. Um, you're going to start with a big – each round, there's a certain predetermined number of rounds. Mm -hmm. Each round, you're going to start with a big school of fish. Mm -hmm. Each player will be splitting those schools into smaller groups. Mm -hmm. And then each person will be drafting those to put into their tank. And to get your sets that score in different Correct. ways. Correct. Mm -hmm. right? There is also, uh, as part of scoring, um, something that's just another dimension in the game is a public goal. So everybody, there's going to be one public goal. And each one scores differently, and they'll be worth an extra five points. And we you know, we played a test game earlier, and right. it made the difference between winning and losing. It does. And the other cool thing about it, too, is you actually have to be really uh, cognizant of what's going on. Because as you're stuck with what you're going to choose in the game, you have to adjust your game plan. And I'm going to try to talk about um, what adjustments you have to do as you play it. And I'm going to keep my cards public. They'll, theirs will be <clears throat> hidden. And you'll kind of see the logic behind the decisions. And I don't want to overthink something as fun as this. is like a 15-minute game. But there is a lot of cool stuff going on that I think you will appreciate. 
Okay, so uh, Dave, uh, I see you have these right here now. I Notice when I do this little padding, I'm doing it gently. We have a microphone on the table, so if we hit the table hard, it's gonna pick up on the microphone, okay? So these that he has right here are the public goals. And these are what everyone's fighting for. Now this card right here, look at that tank. How cool is that? My goodness, that is great art. Now this says, now that in the game you're gonna get 30 to 40 or 46 points if you're a cheater. <laughs> Him, not me. Um, okay, and uh, so five points is about an eighth of that, okay? Now this says here, there's six kinds of fish. If you have at least five of one fish, you get five points. Have at least five of one type of fish, okay? That's one type of public goal. Extra uh, goals would be a good stretch goal. We, we've we've worked through a couple, and um, these are the three primary ones. We are toying with the idea of potentially adding more, but mm -hmm. we've tested a lot of them. Some of them I just imagine. don't work. Yeah, I imagine. Uh, five, uh, five points here have zero of one or more fish types. So just have none of some, one of the six fish type. That's going to really come into play later. Uh, there's a fish that makes you discard, and that can really play into your uh, idea there. This one right here is five points, and this says have at least one of every kind of fish, okay? So for this one, the fish that makes you uh, discard fish actually works against you, okay? So you have to change your plan based on these. I'm going to shuffle these. Are you good at three card Monty? No. Neither am <laughs> I. Okay, so this says have zero of one or more fish types. We're gonna keep that as a public goal. I'm gonna put this in the far corner. I'm gonna to try to keep my cards right here. The gameplay service will be right here, okay? And uh, take it away, tell us what to do. All right, so for the setup, you've already did half of the setup and that's pick one of your three goals to be your public goal for the game. Mm -hmm. And as Travis alluded to, the other one is to find your player count, the cards for the, the player count you're playing Shuffle them together to form your deck. And so that's the whole setup. Okay. To set up the first round, as Trav mentioned, there are three phases. The first phase is to just set up your initial school of fish. Okay. And uh, how many um, fish do we put out? In a three, four, or five player game, your initial grid is four by four. And in a two player game, mm -hmm. it is a three by three. Okay. Man, that is a good looking, I love that, man. That that art is just unbelievably killer. I'm gonna do this just so it has a little uh, more centered look to it. Now, what we see here are many of the fish, maybe all type, all six. Oh, and a treasure chest came out, fantastic. Okay, this is one we did in a show again uh, earlier, but we're gonna show it on the screen now. Treasure chest, just a straight seven points, okay? And there is only one of those in the deck. Awesome. So, okay, so we have a fish called the angel fish. Uh, this says if you get a, a set of three, you're going to get nine points. Uh, the garami. Yes, the garami. Uh, five points per fish, but you must discard, okay, a fish when you pick it up. Now, you can also discard this directly should you wish. The fish themselves are worth five points, and this comes into play because our goal says have zero of a certain type of fish. So you might use this to get rid of a certain kind of fish. Keep that in mind. The guppy, uh, if you have even amounts, each one's two points, or excuse me, odd amounts, each one's two points, but if you have even, they're three. The molly is just straight points, one point on this card, but there's ones that say two and three. The treasure chest. Uh, the discus fish. Uh, if you have the most of these, 10. If you have the second most, 5. You can tie for first. You can tie for second. You also have the neon tetra. If you have one uh, one of these, and let me pull it out because it's a smaller text. Uh, if you have one of these, you get one point. Two of them, 3. Three of them, 6. If you have four of them, 10. If you have five of them, 15. And if you have six of them, you have 21. And I think that's everything that we have on display right now. Okay, so the cards are out. How do we go about playing? So the second phase of the round is starting with the active player. <clears throat> the active player is going to take this initial group mm -hmm. and split it into two. And you can split along either a column like this. Mm -hmm. You can split along a row like this. Yeah. And then once one player splits, the next player is going to pick one of the groups and split it. 
then the next player is going to split one of the three groups and then split it. Mm -hmm. And in a two or three player game, it's going to snake back. Okay. So whoever was last will go again, mm -hmm. then the next person, right. then the next so person. So in other words, you, you, me, me, you, you. Correct. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, go ahead and give us a split. I'll Boom, just, that I'll was it. I'll stick with that. All right, uh, T, T dog. Okay, me. Okay, so I want to. I want to get. I want to get this treasure chest to by itself. Hmm. I isolationist. Um. Okay. I want to. Ah, this is actually pretty difficult already. Uh, where do I want to do this? I'm going to force somebody's hand because I don't think I have a good choice. I'm going to put all these together because I believe that's all six kind of fish. One, two, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all six kind of fish right there. Now, that is pretty powerful. Uh, but remember, this fish will make you get rid of something. So you're only going to have five. Um, and I'm going to force someone's hand. Okay, so that was me. Now it comes back to me again Correct. because we have one, two, three. Now it's me again during the splitting phase. Ooh. I'm gonna split that again by it's itself. Ship, by it. Yeah, I like that play actually. Yeah. Um, okay, I am going to let's see. What do I not want to get rid of? Let's put. We can we can move this down just a little bit. Yep. And Good. then I will split this in the middle there. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, I get last split before. I Dave pay. likes to go for tetras. He loves the tetras. Yeah, he also likes cheating. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um. <clears throat> All right, so uh, Dave's going to tell us what he's thinking as yeah, he does it. I'm going to split thinking. off these. <laughs> I'm going to split off these two. Okay. And then so we'd move to the last phase of the round, which is drafting. And what made you split that right there, by the way? Just well, because I'm going to take the treasure chest, mm. and then I didn't want to leave a group of four. Okay. Yeah. Smart. So then it goes to me. So yeah. I will pick next. Um, man, there's a Garami in all of these. Um, but I will take the Discus, Garami, and Molly, and then I will discard the Molly. Mm. And he's throwing this away because the uh, other fish uh, makes you get rid of something. Okay, so it comes to me. These all look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with these three. Uh, I'm going to take these. Boom. Now, only me, only me, I'm going to have my cards public so you can play along. So I took a Neon Tetra. Uh, I need to score sets to get points. Amali actually got the highest one, three-pointer. Uh, remember that there's a one, two, and three, and I got an Angelfish that if I get three, I get nine points. Usually, 40 is a common score. All right, so I went ahead, and now I choose again yep. the second time. Um, I would like to, uh, I'm, you he know, does this for a living folks. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm going to choose these two. Now I actually was, I was thinking about going here to get the angel fish cause I want two out of my three, but I do not want to discard anything. Okay. So I'm going to take that. And now I have two neon tetras. Back to you. Uh, back to me. Yeah. So I am. Uh, I just am partial to the uh, the bigger ones. So I'm going to take mm -hmm. these, and I will actually discard. Wow. The little the little guy, the little mm. guppy. No, no rest for the wicked there. That's okay. Right. Gee whiz, putting all those cards out. Okay, Dave. <clears throat> I'll pick the Grammy and the Angelfish, and I'll discard. Wait, you don't want to discard the treasure chest? No. I'll discard <laughs> that angelfish. Okay. So we're left with two, so that those just get discarded. Yep, there's always one uh, pack that goes away. Okay, so that was round one. All right, and now we're going to have you yep. do the next. Okay. There you go. All right, so we're going to deal out our grid here. Mm -hmm. There's no more treasure chest, so there's no more opportunity for... And there's only one such reward, right? One treasure chest. Wow, that's bit. so yep. powerful. And, well, and you saw how warping it was for yeah. splitting. I mean, we it, you kind of almost have right. to put it by itself. It's definitely a... <laughs> you don't want to give anybody any more points than right. seven. Seven is enough. Right. My okay. goodness. Okay. All right. And who's going to... Uh... Uh, so I will split first and then pick first. Okay. Um, so let me give a quick look at the board. Um, all right. I'm going to split... I will move this down here. Okay. Just put that as a group. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So uh, I believe it is me? Glenn and then Dr. All mm-hmm. right. Now, just for camera's sake, I'm going to push these up a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to bring these a little bit more into focus. Um, okay. Well, I kind of want to still get more angelfish here. I, that would be good. But if I get that, I have to get rid of something. But I'm willing to take the risk. I'm going to make that its own little pile. Dave Rooney? I'm thinking. I want to split. Not only is he a cheater, he's a liar. Because he's not thinking. No. There's no thought. <laughs> I'll split that off. So then you get, yep, so you get one more. Yeah, you get one more split. And I'll go with... Um, Remind myself what I have. Mm. That. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Glenn, back to you for... Uh, I'm going to, sorry, you can't undo, cheater. Um, ah, that's tough because I can't get my neon. My goodness me, it's quite a quandary. Um, I'm doing that so somebody's really left that on the lurch. Really? Okay, so then it's back to me. I split and then I pick. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what do I want? Uh, you were first split, right? Hmm? Yeah, so it gets back to me after him. Uh, okay, so I want to. Hmm. I'm going to get a group of four. We know that's going to happen. And so I'm going to split. Yeah, let's do, let's do that. Mm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. And then I'm going to get to pick. So. All right, so now we did the serpentine thing back and forth yep. with the split, and now it's the choosing. Okay, so I'm going to go with this pile. Sorry, buddy. Mm. I'm cool with it. Yeah, but I have to discard another one. My, I just have the Garami gang here, man. Yeah. Eating See all ya. the guppies. I know. That is just rude. It's ruthless. Oy. All right, and who goes now? Me? Yes. Oh, well, C is. Yep. Give me the guppies. Okay, and I got a discus. Nice. I'm totally going to be the uh, most. Uh, and I'm going to get my angelfish. All right, I'm down with that. And, um, yeah. All right, so I get two picks. Correct. I'm going to pick this one first. All right. And then I'm going to pick the discus and the grommy. Okay. So, so that is nice. When you have the wheel pick, you can you can strategically pick mm-hmm. something that you know you want to discard. So. Mm. Glenn? Back to me. Back to you, man. I'm going to take this now, and I'm going to take the this, and I'm going to get rid of the guppy. Now, here's the cool thing. Uh, before when I played, uh, I made a real mistake, which was I not only picked this, I wanted to hit the goal of having not one kind of fish, so I actually threw this away. So I'm going to keep this now. And it's the guppy I'm getting rid of. So I'm in a far better position. And I have too many fish in the uh, Garami gang, so I'm going to take a molly this time and discard the Garami. Okay. Okay, so we are now on to the last round. Dave? I do like that you can throw away the fish that says throw away. Normally games say throw away something other than this, but mm-hmm. I like yeah. that you can do that. Do you want to deal it out? I would love to deal it out. I'm good at dealing. I also know uh, how to, uh, a lot of card tricks. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. You'll be able to figure them out because I learned them from like a two-year-old. Uh, all right, how many is cards am I putting no. down? Is 12, right? Eight, uh, yeah. Four by four. Right. Uh, yep. Do you like the uh, the delicacy with which I'm putting them out? Absolutely. You know? Look at these fish. I want to make a fish joke right now, but that'd be a little fishy. All right, uh, four by four. Okay. Uh, all right, and who starts? I think it's me. You do. All right. I have my three. I have my three angel fish. Um, so I really don't need any more. I don't even have to think about angel fish. Uh, going for that neon tetra would be really cool if I could get that in a bundle. I'm going to 
do this. I'm going to take this and I'm going to move this all the way up there uh, so that maybe I can get my two neon tetras. That's my thinking. Okay. So, I'm, so we're definitely going to take those tetras. Dave, you're <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> mm-hmm. Dave's uh, looking. He's thinking. He's going to share gonna what go he's thinking. For these because I've been liking the discus a lot this game. And a three point I volume. love the art on those cards, man. Good grief. They are just... You love you love the discus, huh? <laughs> <laughs> We've known each other since we're twelve, so oh, okay. Got to uh, got to do it, and mm-hmm. then hmm. So it went up, and now yep, it's... and now it's coming back. I don't want to do this. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it might be a little yeah, and then it is back to you. Let's see. Um, I love the background, even in the <clears throat> in the imagery. All right, let's see. I go for mm-hmm. splitting again because it's some type of torture. But look at this. You can totally get two guppies and get a scoring uh, opportunity there. Uh, is it all split? One more to you. Mm. And then you pick first. Oh, my goodness me. Well, I mean, getting two of those, I mean, that looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to... This is already split? Yep. Yes. yes. Yeah, because that's what we do. I'm going, I, but I kind of want those two, but I don't want anyone to get too many points. I'm going to do that. Okay, done. Split, announced to me. And I'm taking all of these. So I'm getting, <clears throat> I'm getting yeah. a guppy. One, two, three, four, five, six, unfortunately. Uh, but I'm getting another tetra which raised me from six to four. So that was a gain of four, even though this says I want to not have fish for five. I got four. I got some mollies here. I have a two-pointer. I have another two-pointer. Feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, that was a good pick. I thank think. you. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to put these right here so everybody can see them. All right. I think I'm going for the discus and three-point molly. Believe it or not, even though this game is taking up the whole surface area where we have the camera, it's really not that big at all. No, yeah. it's it's That's the nice the footprint of it. It gets a little bit bigger with the splitting. So I am going to... I get two picks, so I need to be strategic about these picks. This is the last picks of the game. I'm going to go for the guppies, mm-hmm. and then I'm going to go for the molly and the tetra. Yeah. Let's see what we have left. So Dave, you're up. Uh, let's see. Um... Want, I think I'm going to go for the discus, discus and angelfish. Wow, okay. She's I was actually face. trying to fake you out, and I said discus to plant the idea in your head, because I really wanted this neon tetra, because uh, that bumps me up from 10 to 15. Ooh, very nice. Eh, yes. I mean, and then I have this one bum one, which unfortunately isn't part of a set, but I think that was totally worth it. Okay, so now with that, this gets tossed. Yep. Nice. We are done. We just got a score. Okay, so let me show what the score pad looks like. Uh, our previous game that we played uh, was right here, and it's just it has every single fish on the pad. The pad comes with the game. Tons of papers there that you can score. And let me just rip it off. And we're going to keep this right me, here. You're going to do it? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's keep it right there so okay. we can all see. Okay, perfect. All right, so we are going to do the easy D... G and T. Yeah. Thanks for knowing my name. Well, you know. Okay. We'll start with me time. because it's already on the table. Okay. For the neon tetras, one, two, three, four. I have five, and that gives me 15 points. One fourth, uh, one third yep. of the way yeah, to a winning a score. For sure. I'd okay. be impressed if you get four times that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Molly's. Uh, I have a two. I have a two. I have a three for seven. By the way, I don't know if you know this, but I can add up to seven. <laughs> uh, okay, I have an odd amount here, so I get two points for a guppy. Angelfish. This one is useless, but I do have a set of three over here. That's a total of nine. Uh, I have one uh, Garami for five points. Uh, and I have two discus. Um, Should we go ahead and... And unfortunately, what that means is I don't get the treasure. Uh, right, yeah. Well, you mean the goal? Uh, the goal, I mean. Yeah, I don't get the goal. 
uh, which was five points because I, yeah, that was a big, I don't know. I went for it. What can I say? Okay, and I have two discus. How many discus does everybody have? Get mine out of the way. I have four. Ugh. And I have two. So let's go ahead and score those while we're, while we're talking okay. about it. So Glenn, you and I tied. For second place. So so we each get five for second place. And Dave, you had four, so you get ten for the discus. Generous. Okay. So go ahead, Dave. Let's put yours uh, right here and we'll score All right, the whole so time. I had four discus. I had one angelfish. Which okay, so angelfish is zero. Does no favors. I have a, uh, one three-point molly. I have two grommies for ten points. I have the treasure chest for seven points. Mm. I have zero guppies, zero neon tetras, and I met the goal for five. Okay. I like that we're not adding it up because we really want to keep it. We got to keep mystery. that suspense, man. <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we already scored the discus for me. I had two of those. Okay. The guppies, I have two, so that's a total of six. Yeah. Dave, can you score that? Yes. Yeah, so Sorry. six on the guppies. It's okay. Six on the guppies. Uh, I have two two point mollies for four. For four. Mm, I love seeing those cards come on the table, man. It, it, I have, yeah, there. I can't tell you how many times I've played it, and they still look cool. Three Tetris for six. <laughs> six. Right. It, but I have the Garami Gang for fifteen, ah! and I met the goal, so I get the extra five. Did you win the last game? No, you came in second. Right. Right. Number two. Number two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Five. All right. So we got. I'm, I'm liking my chances three, this game, man. Three. I think. I think I got it. 35. Oh. I had much lower in last Wow. Game. Dave had 46 last time. I had 40. 20, 30, 43. I went up. Uh, as of right now, I am in the lead. And unfortunately, <laughs> we're out of time. <laughs> That'll do it. Have you memorized every card in this game? Mm, I mean, I it's so. weird because yes. I have a card right here. 41. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Did I actually win? Yes. Glenn. What? <laughs> And that was by not going for the uh, bonus score. Mm-hmm. So that is the really cool thing about it. I said earlier that it's kind of Euro. There are many different pathways to winning the game. And uh, that um, really came through in the last one. So I'm really stoked about that. Cool. Awesome. Well, hey, man, congratulations on this awesome game. Once again, here's the box. It is a 10-gallon tank. Let's put that on there, both cameras there. And uh, fifteen dollars. Mm-hmm. Oh, so much game for fifteen dollars. That's kind of killer. Plus uh, shipping. It's going to be on Kickstarter very soon, January twenty first. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then there'll be uh, various uh, stretch goals if we can get there. And um, as always, uh, I only talk about the games that I like, and uh, this is one of them. So thank you very much. Dave, thanks. Right on, Travis. Thank you for having us, man. We really oh, appreciate it. I'm so glad you come by. You know, I'm happy to shine a light on the things I enjoy. So, uh, okay. So, if you have questions about gameplay, uh, just let me know. As usual, I'm happy to answer. And uh, we're all on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter, I think, is Games Bourbon, something like that. We are at Winsmith Games. At, at, there, at Winsmith Games. Yep. There you go. And uh, right on. Until next time. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Awesome. Thanks. Bye.